Okay, welcome to part 6 of the Wolsey W2 restoration. Today we're going to be doing a bit of paint stripping again because Dad's just dropped up my uh, the new wire brushes on the ankle grinder. See there's one on it now. There's a flat one. I have started taking the paint off the hopper. As you can see it's slowly coming off quite well. But that's just going to be really annoying and that's going to be fun to do I suppose. If you know what fun means sarcastically, it's going to be really, really boring. I have started and a chunk of paint just flew off and hit me and it hurt. I don't think you put a guard onto that because it's somehow um, quite big, but never mind. So we're gonna, I'm going to start continuing also doing that. There's a few pieces there to be stripped. Now I've got to strip the flywheel again. Keep stripping that down. And then if I pan around... Da -na 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 all the boxes of stuff over there. The tanks will be last because Dad said to me if the fumes build up in there they, and one spot goes into there and lights a lot, bye bye tank. I quite like my tank personally. So, um, so I've got to do that and there ain't really much more to do and then after I strip all that down and strip all the parts we can start assembling. But I'll clean the crankcase out then I'll start assembling it and then once it's pretty much assembled, we just put the head on and everything, and then we paint it. The fly with the last. The fly will be the last thing to go on. If you are wondering, the fly will be the last thing to go on, so you won't see the fly along for a long time. Okay, so that's that. Thank you. Okay, not a lot done in part six because I've just stripped and painted this hopper. I probably spent between like twelve o'clock and it's now about five o'clock on this hopper using an angle grinder and I still I'm not quite finished I've gone through three mugs of tea two donuts and three packets of crisps trying to get this hopper done okay nothing much has been done other than the flywheel who's just still sat there I've um, been I have done a few things actually other than that I have also if I just quickly grab them I have just shined up the head studs, the three little ones, I, I think I showed you the two long ones, but yeah, I shined up the three little ones, so I got a nice set of five, and I did just put two in the hopper whilst it was just gently on the engine, just screw them down, and they did look quite nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to lacquer those, and then lacquer them and put them, well, we're going to screw them in, torque them down after the engine's been painted and all your other stuff. Lacquer them. And then they should stay shiny whilst they're underwater. Because, you know, brass tarnishes when it's underwater and stuff a bit quicker. So it's, it's not too good that way. So that's why we're going to lacquer them. The amount of times that there, the piece of wire has come off and jabbed me is unbelievable. Okay, and I've put um, in the, don't know if you see that by the jack, the two ice cream cubs. In there's a few pieces which are covered in brake cleaner, which acts as a stripper, like strips of paint. So that's going to strip the paint off a bit easier. So other than that, that's all I did. So thanks for watching. 